Hello everyone, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. Today I'm going to make some molds today. And I'm going to do these two different ways, but not in one video. So these I'm going to do with the putty today. And I'm also going to do this with the putty. Now this one is already not a shiny mold. And you've probably seen me do this if you watch any of my videos. I did this a while ago and I would love to have two of these. Now, for those of you who have commented, I just wanna say something real quick. They have commented uh, prior videos of me making molds. And from what I know about making molds, there is no copyrights on any molds. So um, you can make a mold. In fact, multiple people sell the exact same mold out there. So even casting anything, you can cast whatever you want. You can make your mold. There's no copywriting on any of this stuff. This stuff is just made in China. There's no artist that I'm copying. As far as molds like this that you can purchase, like I said, multiple people sell the exact same mold. So there are no copyright laws on making molds. So don't feel like you cannot make your own mold. So I'm going to do this one. And these two, because I did a turtle prior to with the putty, and I didn't realize that I, here it is here, I messed up his little head here, and I worked the putty too long. You only have like three minutes. So by the time I tried to fix it, it would not move anymore. And then these two little sections here didn't come out because I tried to add them later and it didn't stick. And I really like this little turtle guy. And that was him. So I'm going to do him again and I'm going to do it the proper way. And I'm going to make sure it gets in all the right places. So while I was doing him, I grabbed my little stingray. And I definitely want to do this as well because this already isn't shiny and this putty will not be shiny. So I will probably be doing these two in a future video with the liquid silicone. And these will probably be in the eBay store. And I think I will do them as a little set so you will get both of them. I'm hoping I can do that. So we're going to um, get some of this putty weight out. I'm going to do one at a time. Like I said, you only have three minutes. I think it's three minutes. Um, and it takes only 20 minutes to fully cure. So yeah, I'm going to get some weight out. And like I said, we'll do one at a time. Okay, I've weighed out two and a half ounces of each, the A and the B. And then you mix them together just until you have a uniform color. Like I said, we have three minutes to do this. So I am going to quickly mix it, quickly form it, and then we're just going to let it sit there and cure for the 20 minutes. So we're going to be able to cast these in the next half an hour and see how well these little, little guys work. The link for everything is in the description, the description box below. This is made by Let's Resin. And I have used these before and I do like it. The only thing I don't like is it's, uh, it's not going to be shiny. Like I said, I'm not sure. Which okay. Make sure you're not doing anything on a silicone pad. Just press your putty out about the size of your little guy. Whatever you're going to do, I'm going to do him. Press him in quickly. And I'm just going to pull the silicone up over all the edges as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, you have to move fast with this. It would be nice if you had a little more time. But again, I learned my lesson on the last one that I made. So definitely make sure your surface is a non-stick surface for silicone. So make sure you're not doing it on a silicone mat or anything. And then it, just let it sit and cure. Then I'm going to mix up the rest for the other one. I just want to piece it together before I run out of time here. So this would be cured up in about 20 minutes, it says. So we will be able to cast these today and test them out. Oh, my little tail is sticking out. Just make sure everything's covered. All 
All right, that one's done. All right, here's one for the turtle. And these three molds will take the whole jar, both jars. Hopefully I saved enough. I'm pretty sure I have enough for that coaster. Just going to roll it nicely and smooth as I can before I lay him in there. I hope I do this one correctly this time because that's such a cute mold to use for extra the resin that I have sitting here. So I'm just going to bring it up. This is where I missed last time, those two little pockets. Again, you don't have a lot of time, so get it up over this. Make sure his head fits in there, make sure. Not that you're doing a turtle, but I'm just saying, make sure you get all your spots up into the tail. This will be a little bit harder to demold from the last one, but it's okay because at least it'll be correct. So if you need a quick mold of something small, this is probably the best way to get it. But keep in mind, you will have to top coat whatever it is because it won't be shiny. So I UV resin mine with the shine once it's uh, cured. That should be good. I think I got all my wrong spots that I didn't get last time. And the last one. Now make sure your things go face down you don't want to mold the wrong side of your item and it's too late after five minutes to start changing things. Hello wonderful people. Look at that hat. How's that for you? So we got a little gift in the mail the other day from Karen. I won't say her last name just in case she doesn't want it out there. Very nice letter and uh, she had sent. Looks like we're doing another competition hon. Yep that's right you and me. I don't know if that's for a competition. Well we're gonna make she it. She didn't say competition. Well, she says she likes our. She looks forward to our competitions, so we're gonna have a competition. Okay. Thank you, Karen. All right, and so this is what we're doing. She knows I'm a red, white, and blue guy, so she sent red, white, and blue confetti. Boy, wouldn't it be funny if I toss this up into the fan right now? No, no. That'd be great. And she sent us some coasters that she made. There. Can you turn it around after that or do you got to stop it? Well, <laughs> hang on. I'll be right back. All right, so here's the confetti. 
I had an awesome idea about confetti one time, going into your neighbor's house to your in-law's house. Yeah, the in-laws. And you put confetti all up inside the AC ducts and turn the AC off. So when they come home, they turn on the AC, poof. <laughs> <laughs> that's just wrong that ain't wrong alright back to this so she made some really nice coasters that's about as American as they get right there thank you Karen so we're going to have a really nice surprise so we're going to have a competition and we're going to do coasters USA theme what do you think does it have to be a coaster? Why don't we just pick whatever mold we want? No, I think we need to make coasters. I she's think saying we can pick whatever mold we want. Yeah, but she's saying coasters. I think we need to it's make right. a coaster. I mean, then they're going to be. There's no competition in that. There is, because you could do it different styles. Mm -hmm. I already got. We'll talk about it. Mm, we'll talk about it. I'm doing a coaster. <laughs> All right, Karen. Thank you. Appreciate it. And we'll talk to you later. It's been 20 minutes. They're rock hard. These guys are ready to come out. This one I'm not too concerned about coming out. I didn't realize how hard this stuff does get. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get those out of there. So I'm going to work on this one first. I'm sorry it's out of camera, but this is not as pliable as the liquid silicone gets. So, oh, well, that came out really good. Oh, I'm excited to use this one super excited to use that one i don't know how i'm gonna get these out <laughs> without breaking my stone pieces i'm not really concerned about resin coming out but these are stone i might have to trim this <laughs> i don't know what i was thinking i was so concerned about not making the same mistake as i made last time oh look that ripped right there i need to trim this i'm going to get my little knife here be careful how you do it guys because i'm seeing that i did it wrong again hopefully i didn't cut too much this is not that pliable chop a little bit away at a time before I take too much off. Uh-oh, I might have taken too much off. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh well, live and learn, right? Okay, maybe it'll come out now. Uh, I might have ruined this guy. Okay, got him out. Okay, got him out. That will still be able to be molded. I just need to trim this off. Yeah, this stuff is much harder than a silicone mold. That's good. This might just work. Now this one, on the other hand, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get him out without trimming. I need to trim. After much trimming, as you can see, I did get him out. I don't know that this is going to be a successful mold. And the only way I'm going to find out is if we cast it. So I will try it. Unfortunately, I don't have high hopes for this one. These two, I think, should work. So let me mix up some resin. 
I just mixed up four ounces of resin. I tinted it light brown and I added a little sparkle dust because I'm not getting too creative because that's not really what this video is for. This one I do not have high hopes for because I think it's going to all leak out his leg right here. So I don't even know if this one is usable. I will try this one first. I'm pretty sure this one will be good. Probably do want to get a little something small to stick up in his tail. Because that's where the bubbles will hide out. And I'll, hmm, I think I'm going to pour this one first because I don't have high hopes for that little turtle. I don't even know if I have enough for him. I think you do that again. There it goes, just like I thought. Oh, this is being recorded right now? Yup. Hi, people. Oh, man, there it goes. Oh, man. Are you mocking me? Can you take a clay and... Oh, it's already hard. It's hard it? as a rock. One failure. Two success, probably. going to worry about this one because that one will not work. This one won't fill up and this one is filled up too much. I guess if you prop it, maybe if I prop him up like that, I might be able to save him. Let's try it. I might be able to save it. That's not really how I want to work though, but all right, we shall come back when it's cured. Are you ready to see if we can get these out? I'm starting with the easiest one. I don't know about that turtle. I just do not know. So let's see what these look like. Sorry, I need to <laughs> bring this in to get it out. Okay, well it came out good. So this one worked very, very good. It's still a little bit bendy, but definitely took the same shape as this one. So I am very happy with this one. Obviously it would look like this if I used opaque pigments and mica powders like I did, but just trying to cast this one. So this one is good. It is a pass. Let's do this stingray. I don't even know if I can get the stingray out, but we're gonna try. So there is a learning curve to using the putty. I hope you have learned from my mistakes what to do and what not to do. I don't know how much longer I'll be able to use this one because it did rip it a little bit when I was trying to get the original one out. This is not completely cured, so I probably shouldn't be doing this right now. All right, well, he worked. Again, I did rip where I ripped somewhere. Oh, right here, which I did earlier. So I do have to trim this one. So I don't know if it uh, was the my fault or not so again you're not going to get a shiny surface from putty so i will have to shine these up 
with some UV resin and a little bit of light and then you would see the sparkle in there. This one I don't know that I could shine up because it's a very rough surface, but this one worked. If I wanted to use him, I could use him. I do have one bubble here in his wing, but it did work. I will keep that one. This one, oh boy, I don't know. I don't know. Well, he's coming out okay. I think I gotta get him. So it did work. I obviously have some trimming to do. I have to say I like silicone better, liquid silicone. Um, so as far as a, a comparison, not really. You don't have to build a mold housing, a housing unit when you use these. You just kind of put it around the piece. So maybe my pieces were a little bit too complicated for this putty. Other than this one, this one's great. This one's perfect. It took on all of the effect. So I'm guessing this was user, <laughs> the user problem, not the putty problem. So just make sure you're using it for the proper, I don't know, mold, I guess. Don't get complicated, especially if you're new to it like me, because like I said, I'd rather be using liquid silicone and not putty silicone. So, but he worked. His little arm obviously didn't work. I did have him propped up, but um, it just took from one side and gave to the other. So this one is not a com complete failure, but it is a failure in my eyes. I don't know that I could fix that right there. with. Well, I guess you could put tape over it. I don't know. You guys decide. I just wanted to show you what it was, what you can use it for. So now you know what to use it for and what not to use it for. <laughs> I hope you guys all learned something because I certainly did. I hope I've inspired you to try something and succeed a little bit better than me. So I will see you guys all tomorrow. Thanks for stopping in and hanging out with me for a while today. I'll see you later. Have a blessed day. Bye. <laughs>